you lovely people, this is Trolls from ADO, and in this video we're going to take a deep comprehensive look at one of the official demos for our R Studio Percussion. This demo is called Sensation, and I should also preface that with the library we actually included all the MIDI demos, and for each of the demos you also get a corresponding multi, so you can essentially rebuild the entire sequence here, including the multis here, in your own DAW environment, so if you really want to learn more about percussive programming, even more than I'm covering this video, and the idea is really to give you a deep insight into how to utilize this amazing library it's actually over 50 gigabytes of compressed auxiliary percussion and drum kits and there's an enormous amount of things you can do with this library it's a true next generation library one thing is that it contains a bunch of multi samples that we sort of used to in the current generation of sampling but we also discovered an entirely new method in the creative process of creating the library that takes this whole thing here to a whole new stratosphere in terms of sampling and it's actually impacting a variety of our next projects coming forward because once we discover this method, there is no going back. We actually have a patent application for it because it is such a unique discovery and it allows you to do completely lifelike percussion just with the touch of a finger. It's absolutely amazing and you have full control over the library, both using multi samples and this new method. But let me go into all that a little later in the video. Let's just get started on playing the demo in its entirety here. You can see the multi here and I also added a couple of our blend instruments to the demo here. Um, they're not doing anything big, just providing a little bit of extra atmosphere. So as you can hear, the library is alive, it oozes with life. And the best way to describe the R techniques is essentially to imagine that you have a loop, the loop is sliced and then it's recorded in velocity layers so you can crossfade between the different velocity layers of the loop. But that's just the beginning of the technique. So for example, if you wanna have a shaker going like chika 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 chika, you can actually sculpt it here using a mod sequencer. But more importantly, we also record it at four different tempos. So it's not just that you have velocity layers that you can crossfade in between with the shaker. Let me just show it quickly on the 32. but it's also that you have them in different tempos and these are separate recordings. So imagine how many samples you have to do that. So we have four different tempos in multiple last layers plus all the multi samples. And that is really what sets this library apart. So in the case of a shaker here, let's just hear it um, stand alone in the composition. You can hear that it sounds hell of a lot more lifelike than you could do with multi samples. Multi samples and shakers is just a bad combo. Let me just try here. Yeah, forgive me. That is actually multi samples, shakers um, and check out here the R string instead. That, my friend, is impossible to do with multi samples. And you can probably see me down here when I'm moving in the mod wheel that you're noticing here the dynamics that you're crossfitting between all the different layers here. And it's a super method. And of course, it adapts to your DAW tempo. And if you want to have triplets, you just click T here and everything is going to be triplet based as well. So it absolutely adapts to anything you want to do. Next up here, let's move on to our one of our cinematic kits. This is our boom menu. So these are sort of very, very deep percussive sounds. And you can see up here we've got multi samples. I like to use them for sort of bass accentuation. So you get more of that boom. And don't do too often actually because they kind of dominate the mix, but they're awesome just to have lie in the background for sort of dominating on the ones. It's kind of fun. Let me just play what you just heard together with the R shakers. So you can hear that beautiful technique using both multi samples and our new R technique and just how alive it becomes when you're using both techniques together. And as you can see down here, there's a bunch of different instruments just in this one patch here. And what's indicated with blue down here is our multi samples. And what's indicated up here is our R techniques. And they actually correspond with each other. So down here, you would have a multi sample, and up here, you have the R version of it. Let me just show you.
And again, you don't want me to play that last part with multi samples. It just doesn't work because these things are connected and they're recorded connected. So you get some of that natural bleed. In particular for stuff like shakers, hi-hats, some of the really fast playing things where you do have a lot of connected notes and you sort of have the resonance of a previous note going into it. There's no way you can do that with multi samples. Let's also, uh, speaking of multi samples, go down here and check out the timbales small. And obviously that's just some multi samples here. Uh, let me just show you because we actually have these kind of rolling articulations on most of them for cymbalis, for example, it's really cool to have that, that kind of sound. So you can sort of play the normal and then roll on in that way. And of course you also have these as R samples. And just to clarify, uh, obviously the library is dry. It's actually recorded in dry studio, but for this particular articulation, you can see here, I added a bunch of reverb to it. It just gives a nice sort of more cinematic feeling. It blends better with the mix as well. So yeah, Timbales, you actually have both a small and large one. And it's a good example um, for a lot of the articulations. For example, if you look at our bongos or congas here or cymbals, you actually have multiple articulations within the main articulation here. So let's go back to the Timbales. There's actually a lot to select from. For example, our snares up here, we have multiple snares all recorded with the same style, all that stuff. And speaking of multi samples, let's move on here to the Udu, which is one of my favorite instruments, sort of a clay based drum. You can do these sort of beautiful tonal tricks with it. And this is a really good example, actually. When you look here at the Udu plate, you're gonna be noticing that up here we have our R techniques and down here we have the multi samples. They're playing side by side. So in the beginning, you can hear a roll that's using the R techniques and then you're gonna see me use multi samples as well. And this is why we've lined them up in the same patch. So you got the multi samples here and the R right here and it's just great for doing the combo. And for this articulation, you probably heard there's some weird echo-like sound. That's actually using our new textual delay technique, which is something we introduced in Blendstrument. You have over 130 alternative convolutions, or we call them textual delays. And what's happening is that normally if you have a delay, you'll only delay the sound itself. But when we add these textual convolution delays, you can actually alternate the texture of the delay. So it's not just the instrument delaying, but you actually get that sort of weird alternative delay sound going on. And those are also a tempo sync. You can actually sort of dial in how you want it to fit your composition in terms of its tempo here as well. So textual convolution delays that are synced to your DAW. Next up is our Latin kit here. And this is a really good example, actually. This is in our bonus section uh, of a larger patch where you both got multi samples on mass here and then you got all the R variations here. And in this particular instance, you're gonna be noticing that I'm using R techniques up here and then I'm using multi samples down here. And that would be indicated by multi samples down here and the R techniques up here. And it's just a beautiful combo. And again, you can just sort of just hold one finger down up here and then you can play the multi samples together with it. And it's great for a patch that has so many different sounds here. So this is essentially just a combo kit with a bunch of auxiliary percussion. And let me just play the sequence a little bit here. Let me just play one more time here. So pay attention to how the shaker is just rolling and how the R sort of gets sculpted up and down. I'll move the mod wheel up here uh, a little more so you can really hear um, me sculpted in real time. And last, let me also show you one of our drum kits here. As you can see, we have a large assortment of different drum kits and they're actually built ground up from the multi samples here. You can see we have different kick drums here. We have snare drums, we have toms and all that stuff. So we actually decided to build um, bonus kits here. So you actually got full drum kits in the library as well. And they are also aura based here. So you can see the multi samples down here and you can see the aura techniques up here. And it's absolutely amazing for stuff like cymbals, hi-hats. Uh, let me just show it quickly here to play them isolated. And let me just dial the tempo up um, a little bit here. Uh, let me do it twice as fast so you can hear how well it actually works when it adapts to your DAW host tempo. OK, 
Okay, that's almost too fast. Let me just uh, dial it down here a little bit so we get into humane territory. But as you can see, everything completely adapts to tempo. We are at 200 BPM right now playing 32 notes. And of course, you also have your normal multi samples. For example, right now, let me just play a super basic beat. I'll just have the hi hat going up here and just play a snare drum and a bass drum down here. And of course, if you want, you can also play the whole thing just with multi samples down here as a traditional drum kit. Anyway, I think we've reached the inevitable conclusion of this video. Let me just play the demo here in its entirety. And this time I'm just gonna mute the blend instruments. And again, this whole thing comes with the library. You actually get the MIDI file and the multi here. So you can do everything you've seen here and you can load it into your own DAW and try it all. And feel free to watch a couple of our other videos. I actually have a couple of different videos demonstrating different demos and a lot of the little tricks you can do with percussive programming. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Trolls and this was our Studio Percussion from 8 Yo.